Do you like wrestling? Do you like podcasts about cheesy, weird, and obscure board games? And speaking of cheesy, weird, and obscure board games, do you like Pass the Pigs? You don't? Well, who cares? We're introducing Flip the Title, a brand new game that combines the fast-paced action of professional wrestling, the fun of finger flicking, and the ages-old joy of casting strangely shaped objects to determine outcomes of a battle. In Flip the Title, you take the role of Jared Hunnefeld, American hero and professional wrestling expert, or the ruthless corporate America, as you seek to pin your opponent or reduce their health to zero and win the Flip the Title belt. To begin, each player takes their character card, their five grapple cards, with their character's face in the bottom left corner, their character's meeple, and a health tracker, which they'll set to 20. The two players then set their character cards on the center of the table, then stand their meeple on top of their character card. There should be enough space between the two character cards to comfortably fit a sideways card. During the game, you'll repeat the following four steps until you successfully pin your opponent or reduce their health to zero or below. Step 1. Grapple. Step 2. Perform a move. Step 3. Attempt a pin. Step 4. Reset. You'll start with the grapple step to determine who gets to attempt a move. Each player secretly selects one of their grapple cards and holds it face down between the character cards, across from their opponent's face card. After a count of three, each player flips their grapple card face up. If the cards match color, this is a tie. The first player to grab their opponent's meeple wins the grapple. Otherwise, line up the cards and look for the arrow. The player who has formed a single color arrow pointing at their opponent has won the grapple. When you win a grapple, you automatically deal one point of damage to your opponent. They move their health tracker down one point. In the move step, you perform the move listed on the card that you used to win the grapple. So if you won the grapple using a hold card, you perform a hold move. There are five different moves. Do them well and you'll deal damage to your opponent. Do them poorly and they'll get a shot at a reversal. To perform a punch, place your opponent's meeple in the starting area on the rectangular wrestling ring. Then, flick it with your finger. You deal damage to your opponent equal to the highest area any part of your meeple landed in. In this case, part of the meeple landed in the 3 zone, so you would deal 3 points of damage to your opponent. If your opponent's meeple is still on their feet after the punch, they've dodged your punch and get a chance to punch you back. They'll perform a reversal punch move in the same manner as you did before. One thing to remember in regards to reversals. In Flip the Title, you can never reverse a reversal, so you'll never be stuck in an endless loop of reversal after reversal. To perform a clothesline, place your meeple in the starting area. Then place your opponent's meeple over one of the three numbers on the rectangular wrestling ring. Flick your meeple and try to knock over your opponent's meeple. If you do, you deal damage to them equal to the number you place them on. So, if you can knock over their meeple after setting it to the three, you'll deal three damage. If your meeple touches their meeple but doesn't knock it over, they've dodged your clothesline and earned a reversal. They'll get to perform a clothesline move on you. To perform a slam, put both meeples in your cupped hand. Shake them as you count to three. On three, slam your hand down onto the table. Be sure that you keep your hand in this cupped shape even during the slam. Look at how the meeples landed to determine how much damage you dealt them. If both meeples are flat, you deal them one point of damage. If one of the meeples is on its side, or if only your meeple is standing, you deal two points of damage. If both meeples are on their sides or standing, you deal three points of damage. However, if your meeple ends up flat on its back and your opponent's meeple is standing, they've reversed your slam and deal you one point of damage. To perform a drop, stand your opponent's meeple on the table. Then hold your meeple at least one fist's height above your opponent's meeple and drop it. If your dropped meeple hits their meeple but doesn't knock it over, you deal one damage. If you knock their meeple over, either on its side or its back, you deal two damage. And if both meeples end up on their sides, you deal three points of damage. 
There's no limit on how high you can drop your meeple from, as long as it's above the height of one fist. Feel free to hold the meeple in any position you like as you drop it. If your drop ends up completely missing your opponent's meeple, you've given them a reversal. They may take a drop move of their own. The final move is the hold. To perform the hold, take your opponent's meeple and hold it behind your back. Secretly hide it in one closed fist, then hold both of your closed fists out. Your opponent must guess which hand you're holding the meeple in. If they guess correctly, they've broken the hold and the move is over. However, if they guess incorrectly, you deal them two points of damage. Or, you can choose to keep the hold going. Hide the meeple again and have them guess a second time. If they're incorrect again, you deal them two points of damage. You can repeat the hold as many times as you like. However, if your opponent breaks the hold by guessing correctly during any of these attempts, you'll lose all the damage you've accumulated so far and deal them zero damage. The hold is the only one of the five moves that does not have a reversal. After resolving the grapple step and then doing your move, you're on to step three, attempting a pin. If you did any damage during the move step, you may attempt a pin. This doesn't include the single point of damage you dealt by winning the grapple, since that happened during the grapple step, but it does include a reversal where you did damage. To attempt a pin, set your opponent's meeple on their back on the table. Stand your meeple across your opponent's meeple's arms. There should be enough space accessible on the pinned meeple's legs for your opponent to press down on the legs. Your opponent will then attempt to kick out of the pin. They'll be able to attempt this a number of times equal to the number in the meeple icon below their current health on the health tracker. To attempt a kick out, the person being pinned presses down on the feet of their meeple, trying to get it to stand up. They may press on their meeple's legs as slowly or as quickly as they desire. However, the kick out attempt is considered over after either of the following happens. Their finger is no longer touching their meeple's feet, the pinning meeple is no longer on top of the pinned meeple. If the pinned meeple is on its side or standing on its feet after a kickout attempt, the kickout is successful and the players move on to the next grapple. If the kickout attempt fails, you must keep attempting to kick out until you are successful or run out of kickout attempts. If you run out of kickout attempts without your meeple landing on its side or feet, you have been pinned and lose the game. As a bonus for successfully kicking out of a pin, the player will automatically win a tie should one occur in the next grapple round. To remind them of this fact, they should take both meeples and keep them on their side until the end of the next grapple step. You can perform a reversal on the kickout. If you kick out on your final attempt, you may immediately attempt to pin your opponent. So if you had four attempts to kick out, and you kicked out on your fourth attempt, you reverse the pin and may attempt to a pin your opponent. After the pin attempt step is over, it's time for the reset step. Return the cards you used during the grapple to your hands. Return your meeples to your character cards in the middle. The only exception is if you successfully kicked out of a pin, then the player who kicked out of the pin keeps the meeples on their side during the grapple to remind them that they automatically win ties. The players continue repeating those four steps grapple, move, pin, and reset until one player pins the other or has their health reduced to zero. And that's how you play Flip the Title. If you want to try it for yourself for free, click this link to view the rules and download the files to print your own copy.